whatever has happened to our streets, it's really unbearable. And sadly, all of us has gotten used to this. Wait a minute. What do I see here? I hear laughter. I hear music. I hear children playing. Are these the same streets? Is this Mumbai? Yes, this is equal streets without those awful songs of buses and cars. Why do we need equal streets? We need it first because roads belong to people. Second, we are finally acknowledging toxicity of diesel and fossil fuels. And three, we are also talking about air quality. So let's talk about roads. Roads occupy 40% of the total area of Mumbai. To this, do you know we are adding more than 550 cars every day? This means we need to build three to four kilometers of roads every day. That's not happening. Instead, we are being squeezed out of our right to space. All we can see on the roads are cars bumper to bumper, traffic honking, revving engines spewing exhaust. Where is the relief in terms of large open spaces? And we are feeling more and more confined. There is hardly room to walk, let alone cycle freely. We need to take back what is ours, and that is what equal streets means. A six and a half kilometer loop was opened up on two of the busiest roads of the city. And for 30 plus Sundays, every Sunday, more than 50,000 people turned up to enjoy the space. What we witnessed every Sunday was an unabashed form of self-expression. We saw creative chalk drawings, we saw drums, poetry recitals, street plays, music, walking and cycling, of course. The streets had never been more alive, more vibrant. It was amazing. Suddenly there was time and there was the place for everyone to do what they wanted to do. Roads filled up at 7 a.m. and people went back reluctantly at 11 a.m., giving everybody the sense of freedom, of ownership, of happiness and feeling safe. Open streets are a necessity and we need to act urgently. We need to act for the sake of our children. Their playgrounds are giving way to fancy car parks. And additionally, they are exposed to this constant ambient noise of city traffic, of construction, loudspeakers, revving. All this is making them vulnerable to health issues. And World Health Organization studies have found that in urban children, this is causing stress and psychological damage. So the common manifestations we see are attention deficit, irritability, aggressive children. People, children, gardens should be at the heart of planning. We need a complete change of mindsets. It's happening around the world. Cities are waking up and tackling these problems. Walking and cycling are being accorded priority, as these are the most sustainable modes of mobility. So whether it's Copenhagen, Rio or Perth, everyone is acting. So how did Equal Streets happen? Before Equal Streets, more than a decade ago, I set out to beautify a seashore. And I didn't realize what a challenge it was going to be because nobody was really going to pay attention to me. It took me two years of struggle, yes, that's how long it took me, to realize that I was quite insignificant to manage this on my own. And the idea of influencing citizens' groups and forming a wider platform took seed. And that's how KBS Foundation was found. And as an association, when we approached everyone with the same problem, predictably the response was different. It was my first success. 
Then I heard about this concept of cyclovia. What is cyclovia? Forty years ago in Bogota, an open streets concept was introduced to that city. Today it stretches over 220 kilometers and more than two million people come out to enjoy that space every Sunday. Bogota was like any other third world city. It had poor roads, garbage, slums, bad commute conditions. Today it is one of the most progressive livable cities in Colombia. And people there have fought to retain this distinct contribution as they realized how important Ciclovia was to their lives. Open streets have the power to bring about change. And that's how the idea of the Mumbai Car Free Day was born. The Mumbai Car Free Day happened every year. It was this hugely successful, widely anticipated event. It was encouraging to see cycling groups being formed, youngsters and children taking up cycling and enjoying themselves on that day. But it happened only once a year. Also, do you know that to make a Mumbai Car Free Day happen, you need 14 different permissions from authorities. I mean, these are roadblocks that come in the way of citizens making a difference, but they have to be managed. And that is the res equal streets is the result of that journey. And again, with a group of formidable, committed people, it was brought to the city of Mumbai. Mumbai has responded to equal streets with open arms, like any other city in the world. Because the fact remains, we need to take back ownership of our space. We need to take back our streets. And as I take your leave, I want you to look at this picture carefully and ask yourselves or tell me, who do you think needs more space? Thank you.